Democracy must have a very strong opposition to keep the ruling party accountable. <laughs> Oppositions are coming, they come and go and come and go. Then they say, now you need a strong press, independent press to hold the government accountable. The press is trying, they did their best. They are trying, <laughs> trying to get people down. These are down, stories and stories. They are really a different thing. When the place is not failing, but it's also struggling, civil society. They must be a very lively civil society to hold those who are elected accountable. But who elects us? Who elects us? Civil society. Speaking at the official opening of the ruling Swapo Party's Electoral College, known as the Port on Saturday, President Hage Gengob said, There is another dangerous trend where courts are now becoming battlegrounds for politics. The dangerous trend is now starting. Very dangerous for our democratic culture. Now the courts are being brought in the politics. Courts. In many countries, courts will say that political issue. They don't take it. But you, Swapo Kata, most, are the ones who are running the courts. We are the ones who are dragging in the courts. Gengop went on to say that he hopes that the judiciary will not be brought down to the political sphere level where they forget to respect their independence and therefore accepting their ruling. He said Namibian courts should be aloof to political affairs but it is disheartening to see Swapo members using courts as earners for political disputes. The president further called on his party members to unite as a way forward and with the upcoming national elections in mind. Very soon the Swapo Party election manifesto will be launched to detail the roadmap of the party for the next five years and beyond. We must all be prepared to hold hands and mobilize support for Swapo. Two Swapo members have approached the High Court to declare the sixth Swapo Party Congress held in 2017 null and void. More than 200 Swapo members are convening in Vintuk this weekend to elect the 96 members who will qualify for National Assembly seats ahead of the country's elections on 27 November. Josephine Simeon, Nampa News.